a boat takes 640 minutes time to travel from point A to B and then come back to point A. So total time taken is 640 minutes given. The distance between point A and B is 60 kilometers. The respective ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and speed of the water current is 4 is to 1. What is the speed of the downstream? Now, there are two ways here. Let me tell you one thing. If man speed to stream speed ratio is 4 is to 1, downstream speed is equal to m plus s, that is 5 parts. Upstream speed is m minus s, that is 3 parts. 60 kilometers traveled with the speed 5 parts. 60 kilometers traveled with the speed 3 parts. And the total time is 640 minutes. Minutes converts to hours divided by 60. Solve it, get the value of 1 part. After that, your question is about downstream. So calculate how much is 5 parts value. This is one way. The other way is downstream speed is equal to 5 parts. Answer should be 5 multiple. How many 5 multiples are there? 2 are there. Either you prove 15 is right answer or you prove 15 is wrong answer. Let me take 15. If 5 parts is equal to 15, then 3 parts is equal to 9. To cover 60 kilometers with a speed 15 km per hour, and to cover 60 kilometers with a speed 9 km per hour, let us assume how much is the time taken. Here this is equal to 4 hours, and here this is equal to 9, 6 times 54, 6 by 9, that is equal to 2 by 3. So total time should be equal to 10, 2 by 3 hours. 10 hours in the sense 600 minutes, because 1 hour is 60 minutes. 2 by 3 hour in the sense 40 minutes. 600 plus 40, 640. That is what given in question. And second option is right answer. Multiplication rule. Now ABC invests in a business and share their investments in the respective ratio 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 8. Now I would like to use only integers. So let's convert fraction to integer. Let's multiply every fraction with LCM of denominators. 8 comma 3. LCM is 24. Let's multiply every fraction with 24. That becomes 8. 2 by 3 into 24, that is 16, 1 by 8 into 24, 3. So this is their investment ratio. After 6 months from the start of the business, A withdraws half of his investment. If at the end of the year, profit recorded was 17,500, how much was B's profit? Their investments are in the ratio 8, 16 and then 3. 8, 16 and then 3. B and C have invested their investments for the entire one year period. But... A, after 6 months withdrawn something. So for first 6 months his investment is 8 parts only. But after that withdrawn half. So there will be only 4 parts for 6 months. Now let's take 6 common and go for cancellation. 6 common, 6 2 times, 6 2 times. Now let's take values here. 8 plus 4, 12. 16 into 2, 32. 3 into 2, 6. And everywhere again we have, otherwise you can directly take this, no problem. You can simplify this, but let's see again, no problem. 12, 32, 44 plus 6, 50 parts. 50 parts is equal to 17,500. B's profit is 32 parts, that is equal to how much? 50. How many times is 1750? In 100, there will be 250s. In 17,500, there will be 175 into 2. That is 350 50s. 32 parts, your question, 32 into 350. 32 into 350. This is what your final answer. Now, 350 is 7 multiple. You can verify 7 multiplication rule. Otherwise, you calculate this. 3, 32, 100 times is 3,200. 3 times is equal to, otherwise you can write this, uh, no problem, 32, 300 times, that is 9,600, plus 50 times is equal to 1,600, total value is equal to 11,200, 11,200, 11,200, third option answer. Next, when a certain sum of money invested in tw for 12 years at 12% per annum, simple interest, it amounts to 36,600 for how many years? 
should the same sum of money be invested to earn the same amount of interest at the rate of 9.6 per annum simple interest per annum okay now interest obtained in first case for 12 years is 12 into 12 percentage now the same interest we should get at the rate of 9.6 percent per annum and how many years are required now to eliminate decimal i'll multiply both numerator and denominator with the 10 12 8 times year 120 by 8 answer is 15 so answer is 15 years 15 years first option a dealer offers 24 percentage discount on the market price of a certain item and thereby makes a loss of 5 percentage when there is a loss of 5 percentage he offered 24 percentage discount and he made a loss of 5 percentage 5 percentage loss in the sense that is equal to 95 percentage of the cost price when there was a discount of 20 four percentage then selling price is equal to 76 percentage of the market price now market price is given as 7500 how much discount should he offer on the market price so as to make a profit of 15 percentage when you are expecting 15 percentage profit selling price must be equal to 115 percentage of the cost price and this value is equal to what percentage of market price that's what our question now 95 and 76 how much is the difference 19 is the difference and this we can write it as 20 percentage of 95 20 percentage of this number in the sense 23 if you subtract 23 from this number that is equal to 92 percentage if your selling price is equal to 92 percentage of market price how much discount is allowed 8 percentage discount 8 percentage discount fourth option answer AB together can finish a piece of work in 13 1 by 3 days. BC together can finish a piece of work in 10 10 by 11 days. C is 20 percentage more efficient than B. In how many days ABC together finish the same piece of work? Okay. Now AB together can do it in 13 1 by 3 that is equal to 43 by 40 by 3 days. B and C together can do it in 10, 10 by 11 days, which is equal to 120 by 11. Now, total LCM for both the numbers is 120. AB together can do 120 units in 40 by 3 days. Per day, efficiency is 120 by 40 by 3. That is equal to 9 units. BC together can do 120 by 120 by 11. That is equal to 11 units. Now, B efficient, C efficiency is 20 percentage more than B. So, now, B, C efficiencies are in the ratio 5 is to 6, 100 percentage, 120 percent, 5 is to 6, total 11 parts. If 11 parts is equal to 11 units, C alone will do 6 units, B alone will do 5 units. Now, here, A, B together are doing 9 units, C alone is doing 6 units, all together will do 9 units plus 6 units that is 15. So to complete the total work by all together 120 by 15 days are required which is equal to 8. 8 days are required. So answer fifth option. Next at present Ali is 14 years elder to Kai and Eddie is 10 years elder to Kai. The respective ratio of Ali's age and Eddie's age is 8 is to 7. What was Kai's age 6 years back? Okay, now you already know Kai's age and Ali's age difference, which is equal to 14 years. Ali is 14 years elder to Kai. Then Kai's age will be Ali's age minus 14 years. From the ratio, Ali's age is equal to 8 parts. So Kai's age is equal to 8 parts minus 14. And then AD is 10 years elder to Kai. 10 years elder to Kai. Then Kai's age is equal to AD's age minus 10. AD's age is 7 parts minus 10. So this is the combination of Kai's age. So Kai's age should be 8 parts minus 14 or 7 parts minus 10. Meaning when you add 10, it has to be 7 multiple. When you add 10, it is not 7 multiple. When you add 10, it is not 7 multiple. When you add 10, this is also not 7 multiple. 
at 10 this is also not 7 multiple at 10 that is 7 multiple and also this combination also works when you add 14 it will be at 8 multiple when you add 14 that is 32 32 is 8 multiple so 18 years is right answer next a man pays 20 percentage of his monthly salary as tax out of the remaining amount remaining amount is 80 percentage because 20 percentage is already over one fourth and keeps 10,000 as petty cash out of the amount he gives one fourth one fourth of this number is equal to 20 percentage then remaining is 60 percentage and from this again 10,000 rupees kept aside the rest of the money that is what this one he invested in LIC and fixed deposits in the respective ratio 3 is to 5 if he invested 14,250 in LIC how much did he pay as tax at that month okay now LIC he invested three parts and fixed deposit five parts LIC money is equal to 14,250 so three parts is equal to 14,250 remaining amount is equal to three parts and five parts total that is equal to eight parts now let's see three four times twelve seven times and then 5 0 now 8 times we need to calculate this can be treated as 5000 minus 250 8 times of this number is 40000 minus 2000 that is equal to 38000 38000 value is remaining money which is equal to 60 percentage minus 10000 from this we can write 60 percentage is equal to 48,000 rupees but your question is to identify how much he paid as tax for tax he paid only 20 percentage so we need to calculate how much is 20 percentage this is one third of this number one third of this number is equal to 16,000 rupees one third of 48,000 16,000 that is second option next the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the square whose diagonal is 8 root 10. If diagonal is equal to 8 root 10, that is a root 2 is equal to 8 root 10. Root 10 can be written as root 2 into root 5. Root 2 root 2 gets cancelled. Then side of the square is equal to 8 root 5. Now area of the square is equal to a square that is 8 square 64 into under root 5 whole square that is equal to 5. And this is also equal to area of the rectangle that is length into breadth. Length into breadth. 64 5 times that is equal to 320. If the difference between length and breadth of the rectangle is 4, what is the perimeter? Now L minus B is equal to 4. And your question is to identify perimeter. Perimeter. Okay. Now product of two numbers should be equal to 320 and so that uh, difference must be equal to 4 you can write this as 320 as 16 into 20 times difference between both the numbers is equal to 4 condition satisfied hence length can be treated as 20 and then breadth can be treated as 16 perimeter in the sense 2 times of L plus B which is equal to 2 times of 36 answer that is equal to 72 third option 72 final answer next in a 120 liters of mixture of milk and water the percentage of water is only 30 percentage so out of 120 liters water and then milk they are saying water is 30 percentage a milkman gave 40 liters of this mixer to a customer when out of 120 liters 40 liters is taken out remaining is 80 liters even in 80 liters also water should be 30 percentage 30 percentage of 80 that is equal to 24 and milk is equal to 56 total that is equal to 80 liters and then 12 liters of milk added 8 liters of pure water added 12 liters of milk and 8 liters of pure water added what is the respective ratio of quantity of milk to water in the new mixer okay now this value is equal to 68 and this value is equal to 32 both are four multiples four once and then seven times four eight times 17 is to eight 17 is to eight that is third option right this is one way the other way is 
total we have 120 liters from this 40 liters is taken out and again after that we are adding 12 liters and then 8 liters that is 20 liters we are adding then final quantity is equal to 100 now in 100 liters you will have milk and then water you are asked to calculate ratio so total number of parts of milk and water should be factor of 100 total number of parts are 19 19 is not a factor of 100 29 is also not a factor of 100 25 is a factor that may be your answer hold it 23 is not a factor 17 is also not a factor of 100 hence only third option is the final answer so even in this case also this way also you can answer the question a bag contains five white balls five red balls six green balls total 16 balls we have two balls are picked at random what is the probability that at least one ball is green okay now out of 16 balls you can pick two balls in 16 c2 ways at least one in the sense probability of getting none one minus none least at least one is green so probability of getting at least one is equal to one minus probability of getting no green no green in the sense out of these 10 remaining you may get any two balls so that is equal to one minus 10 into 9 divided by 16 into 15 90 divided by 15 15 six times here 6 by 16 in the sense 3 by 8, 1 minus 3 by 8 in the sense that is equal to 5 by 8. Answer 5 by 8 that is equal to fifth option.